If you're a World War II history buff, then you already know his story. But even if you aren't, there's a good chance you've heard the tale of Jumpin' Joe Byerly, the only man to fight for the U.S. and the Soviets against the Axis in the Second World War. So when we learned yesterday of his death at the age of 81, we thought his story needed telling just one more time. Here is NBC's Preston Mendenhall. His nickname was Jumpin' Joe, and Joe Byerly, a member of the 101st Airborne Screamin' Eagles, dropped into Normandy for the first time at age 20, bringing gold to the French resistance. Then on D-Day in June 1944, he landed on a church in saint com de mont Three days later, Byerly was captured by the Nazis. American troops found his dog tags on another body on Utah Beach. Back home in Muskegon, Michigan, Barely's family held a memorial service. But then a postcard arrived. Jumpin' Joe was still alive. Battered and starving in a Nazi prison camp, Byerly staged two escapes. The third time, he got lucky. After running all night, he came across Allies, a Soviet tank battalion. And they said I could go with them because they were going to Berlin to defeat Hitler. After weeks of fighting, Byerly was blown off a tank and treated for his injuries in Moscow. Sir, I am uh, an escaped American prisoner of war, and uh, I would like to go to the American embassy. But there was a problem. Officially, Byerly was dead. In Moscow, no one believed he was for real. And I said, that can't be. I'm Joe Byerly. The U.S. Embassy took fingerprints to confirm his identity, and finally, Jumpin' Joe was headed home. I will be honored. Later in life, Byerly became a hero for both Byerly. Americans... Thank you, Mr. Byerly. Thank you. ...and for Russians, too. He left his remarkable fate to a higher being. There's somebody up there looking after you. And it wasn't my time to go. But Jumpin' Joe's time came yesterday. At 81 years old, he died peacefully in his sleep. An American soldier at the end of a heroic journey. Preston Mendenhall, NBC News, London.